Determine the support reactions for the following beam. Although the beam has two internal hinges and four supports, it is statically determinate since we can in fact calculate all the unknown forces using the static equilibrium equations. Let's start by drawing the beam's free body diagram. We are going to separate the beam at the two internal hinges. This gives us three beam segments. The free body diagram includes nine unknown forces. one reaction force at D, two forces at hinge F, one force at C, two forces at hinge E, one force at B, and two reaction forces at A. Note that the two forces at hinge E or F are shared between the left and the right segments except that they act in opposite directions since their sum must be zero. For the purpose of calculating support reactions in beams, we can always replace distributed loads with their equivalent concentrated loads. Here we have two rectangular loads. We replace each with its equivalent concentrated load. The magnitude of each load equals to the area of the rectangle, and the location of the force is at the geometric center of the rectangle. Since we can write three equilibrium equations for each free body diagram, we end up with a total of nine equations in nine unknowns. Although we can solve all nine equations simultaneously, it would be more convenient to solve them by part. First, we solve these equations for dy, fy, and fx. They are... Now substitute 0 for fx and 3 for fy in these equations, which gives us these equations. Solving them for cy, ey, and ex, we get Substituting 0 for ex and negative 3 for ey here, we get these simplified equations, which we can use to determine by, ay, and ax. They are here are the calculated forces shown on the free body diagram. For clarity, let's show the forces with a negative magnitude in their correct direction. This means we reverse the direction of the arrow and change the magnitude from negative to positive. So the support reactions for the beam are...